for joining us this Saturday night. Tonight, Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies are investigating a shooting involving one of their own. This happened at a Walmart parking lot in Brandon. But here's the new information that we just got about an hour or so ago. The Sheriff's Office now tells us that this was, in fact, a suicide. New Channel Chip Wasowski live tonight at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office in Ybor City. Chip, bring us up to date. What happened here? Well, Rod, I got to first tell you a lot of new information coming out late this afternoon. Deputies identifying the man who was involved, the man who died, as 28 year old Paul Mebin of Texas. They now tell us he shot himself just a split second before a deputy fired his weapon. Deputies responded to the area after getting a call from the Tampa Police Department about a missing man in the area. When they arrived, they found 28 year old Paul Mebin armed sitting in a car. They approached the vehicle from the rear. As the deputies were approaching, the deputies saw the subject with a firearm in his hand and began to raise the firearm. They gave commands for him to drop the weapon, to which he did not. At that point, deputies felt in fear for their life and fired uh, rounds at the subject. But now we're learning the deputy's bullet wasn't the round that killed Mebin, rather a round from his own gun. Paramedics rushed him to the hospital where doctors pronounced him dead. There were three young children ages 4 to 10 also in the car, but they were not hurt. We have our Child Protection Investigations Division coming out to, to get with the children, get them someplace warm and where we can talk to them and make sure that they're okay physically, they're okay, they're not injured, but we know it's very traumatic. The deputy involved was featured on a cops episode over the summer. Sir, get on the ground. Put your hands on his side. Don't move. Deputy Cabot Brown is currently on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation, which is standard practice in any officer-involved shooting. And a GoFundMe account set up by a family friend claims that the three children that were in that car were actually Mebin's own children. It also goes on to say that they had just moved here from Texas. He had a job and they were awaiting housing. Rod. All right. Chip Wasowski reporting live for us tonight at E4.